The Dublin Distance VSs, the girls 3200 heat number two. We got Katie Clark and Melissa Chen. Heat two. 3200 heat two. Both trying to run about 1330. Katie Clark, Leomi Wu, Isabella Duarte, Eliana Augustine, Cora Mortholl, Alessandra Yu, Kylie Wong, Mia Sanchez, Haley Feldman, Gisela Rodriguez, Stella Al Alvarenga, Kieran Nayar, Vishali Venkatesh, Adaya Sharma, and Audrey Ackerman. That makes up the field here in section two of the girls 3200. And your early leader is Mia Sanchez of Roseville, the freshman. Leader followed by Aaron and Robin of the Here it comes. Katie in about 94, 95, maybe Melissa in 96. Ninety-five, twelve, forty pace. These girls are all seated between thirteen twenty and just about fourteen fifteen. And we just saw a 13.45 win that last section. So we're looking for a run potentially right around 13 minutes here. And it's Mia Sanchez. Well, I think Katie has a chance to run faster than her 13.30 goal. Get things going here. I think Melissa's probably pretty with close with her. Early pace with Sheridan Donovan Sauter. Lead that next group of three. Got our leader hitting 700 meters right now. And Katie's making a nice little move up in the pack. Yeah. It's good to see. Sanchez. A confident racer right and now. And that's who of Granada moving up on the outside. Yeah, leader comes with the Palmer of Rio. Right there with Sheridan Donovan Sauter. Also down a little bit despite moving up in pack. Katie's going to come to a 315. And Melissa 317. 315 is right on 13 minute pace. Palmer now. Lead the chase duties there. Start the this is where we told them all the to focus today, last two meter six. So that mile that happens in the middle. And Katie saw that the girl she was following was starting to fall off and got around her, so that's good. Melissa's kind of just stayed in the pack. That's 1K in right around 355. So well under 13 minute pace up well, front. Kind of a thousand and about four Sanchez right. and Palmer, both freshmen. Our leaders are now almost three laps in, but our original leader was caught. It's two. And then two juniors, Adahu and Sheridan Donovan Stoddard. Herself a little bit in no man's land here. She's got to get back up on that groove. And there's Anna Jarosz of O'Dowd in fifth. Palmer leads him through 1,200 meters and right around four. Let's go, Katie! That's right around 1245 pace. And that's a good little move to. The freshman, now running Rio, looking really strong now. 
lock in. 457 through 1200. Melissa's gonna come through at 504. And Katie's gotta start to go past this group. She's running better than all. The juniors, Donovan Stoddard, and who? It feels like it was just this ladder that she could climb. Yeah, they're moving up there. One at a time. Head on high. Or if she waits, she will come right off the bat. So. And it looks like Anna Droz of O'Dowd there in the yellow and black in between will for join them in that pack of three. But it's all McKenna Palmer right now. As she comes up, about to hit she's going to be approaching halfway 49. here. As she comes down the home stretch, McKenna Palmer of Reno. This laps are going to be important for her. Melissa came through 557 through 1400. Got a leader right there headed towards the 1600. And we're still, nothing's changed for Kate. She's in the exact same position. She's going to be at 1,600 meters, just under 620, so a 1240 pace. Again, in the place where she's got a rally she's been here. Really consistent right there. Adahu, Sheridan, Donovan, Stoddard. My Katie! And I believe that's Lucy King now of O'Dowd. Starting to lose touch a little bit, but that's what it looked like a lap ago. It's a different group in front of her, but the same amount of people. She's at 641. Let's go, Melissa! 49. So Melissa's a little bit off where she was. Well, Tom Hu begins to separate in that battle for second. Katie's finally going to go around some. Palmer sends her lead now. And she gets five. Her last kilometer. Melissa's actually moved away from the group that she was in and is chasing the next one. So that's, she's a little bit behind the pace that she had planned. I'm sorry, she's going to have three to go coming up. Racing pretty well. Here, so just over 1,200 meters. McKenna Palmer of Greeno, Dahu of Granada, and then the duo from Bishop O'Dowd, Anna Giraz, and Lucy King, the two dragons there in third and fourth, been moving well. They're all under 13 flat pace right now in the top five. Sheridan Donovan Stoddard. You can see that Melissa's almost into the group that Pat, uh, Katie's in. Let's go, Katie, go get them! Come on, Melissa, go get Katie! 8.28 through 5. The confluence that the double distance has to bring. 8.34. Yeah. A runner here for Marino. So. The last team has was caught up a winner from West Campus in the Sacramento Let's area. We got new. A bunch of Bay Area girls slowing down in front of her to help her through these last three laps. And all the way up, we're going to have athletes from the Chico area up in the northern section. Let's go. And all the way down to the Fresno area. So a true meeting of the minds of all the top runners here in Northern California. The leaders and are Nevada. about to come and into the Bell Lab. The double distance fiesta. 500 to go for them. McKenna Palmer gives a look back. She's inside her final kilometer. Coming up on two to go. Freshman from Reno has been running very well. I guess not the Under 13 minutes. 800 to go. And there's who the junior from Granada. And then the freshman duo. Both of our girls are inside in the last thousand. Two to go for Palmer. At 9.37. He's working her way up to another. This group is right on 13 flat, passing the finish line right nice now. Nice thing about where Katie is so right now. So a chance to break 13 target, for our top so. four. 
it seems like he has kind of realized that I believe that's he's got a little bit left in sixth. and is racing well right now. And Melissa's still just a step behind, but doing the same thing, moving past the same set of girls. Katie's coming through 10, 16 with two to go. So she's got a chance to do exactly what she wanted to do. A 10 22 for Melissa. Melissa would have to put down a little bit better in the last 800. Katie just has to keep racing her way Ballroom through. Ballroom was entered at 1334. Here she is hitting the home stretch. Coming up on the one to go. She got another one right there. She's going to run almost a minute faster than the time she entered with. So a great run for McKenna Palmer here. Let's help her out. She's got a lap to go here. 600 to go in 11.09. 11.13, that's going to put it right around 12.45. And a good battle for second here. Junior Adan who And then the two freshmen. Jarrah's on the inside. And King on the outside. They're just over 13 flat pace now. With a lap to go. Natalie May has been moving well. For Granada. And there's Ava Hurren. She's got a couple more short catches in this last lap, but she's good. Sheridan Donovan Stouter is still running well for Melissa. Let's go, Katie, finish it! There's no way she can hear a word I said. Right at 12 flat. 1203. So her PR is 1339. So she's going to lose for the last 400. Melissa is at 1214. Jarrell and Keith are going to be right at 13 flat. We'll see if they can close well. Both here from Amanda Palmer. That's the time of the day so far. In our second section, the freshman is going to be out for almost a minute. Here, coming up to sea level from Rita and runs 12.39. And she's going to have to change and her cadence. And the second is on the road. Two and P. They got a shot to break 13. It's going to be close. Looks like King on the outside. Who and Jerose. You got to run about 40 seconds. Three of them break 13 minutes. Here comes King, or sorry, May, Natalie May, Granada, Curran, and I believe that's Alessandra Yu. Oh, let's see if she can beat some of these girls home and what she can do. PR is right now. Okay, race never really There's a team for 49. We saw her win on heat here at the double this is the come in. last year. And remember all our teams in every heat. Get t-shirts. And then there's the